Hey, 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 it's comedy time! You know what I've been thinking? What? I've been thinking a lot about Kanohi masks. It's just really weird. What do you mean? How come it seems that the strange looking masks have the coolest powers? Like the Matatu. It's so weird looking, but it's got an epic power. And the Mahiki looks pretty. geeky. But come on! Shapeshifting is epic! This mask, it looks like a basement gamer wearing a headset and a Microsoft HoloLens whose face just got smashed by a bus. Ha <laughs> I see what you mean. I wouldn't go that far, but now that you bring it up... And what do these weird colored masks do? Trans neon green mirrors? What's the point of one of these? Does being neon green add anything? And chrome hows? Is this supposed to work better than a regular how? Hey, look at me! I'm shielded and I'm shiny! Take that, Bora! You might be on to something. And then you have really cool masks that have mediocre powers. Like the Ruru. Super cool looking. But what's this power? Night vision really isn't... really isn't anything. And then there's the Sanok. How come Hooky, the most accurate Koli player in the history of the game, got this mask? He's already got that power. What's he supposed to do with it? Can we get a mask of redundancy here? Exactly! And then there's those masks with really vague powers. What does the Mask of Fate actually do? I guess it leaves lots of room to the imagination. Boil down, it basically does whatever you want. I resent that. OBJECTION! But you know what's the icing on the cake? Those 2015 masks. Oh, man. Because unless they're gold and have the elemental powers, they do nothing. At. All. Exactly. You get what I mean? Well, personally, I don't have problems with Kenobi. I see. Well, you seem to have it pretty easy then. You said it.